Hello and welcome to Around the Diocese. I'm Father Sight. Let's check out the latest Catholic news on this your May 5th edition. And on this edition, we will feature Mercy in Action, the Holy Door of Mercy, and a groundbreaking in Cortland. On this week's Mercy in Action, our calendar directs our attention to the Holy Spirit. Fasting Friday suggests that we begin a novena in preparation for our celebration of the coming of the Holy Spirit on Pentecost. Did you know that the very first novena ever prayed by the Church was to the Holy Spirit? In this year of mercy, we are reminded that it is the Holy Spirit who makes it possible for us to encounter God's mercy, especially through the sacraments of the Church. Next, we bring you to Cortland, where on Wednesday of last week, Bishop Cunningham was on hand to help Catholic Charities break ground on a very special project. Uh, encouraging government agencies and countries. This is a unique opportunity for Catholic Charities, Christopher Community, and the state of New York to come together to create uh, safe, affordable housing. Uh, we're building 39 units. Uh, of which 20 are dedicated to special needs populations in the Cortland community. The other 19 will be made available to the general community. So this is a first for us here at Catholic Charities, combining not only uh, the diocese and Catholic Charities, Christopher Community, our housing corporation, uh, state agencies, and also private enterprise. So it's a mixture of public and private coming together to provide safe, affordable housing. We see people every day who are looking for quality, affordable housing and the need for supports for those folks who maybe have some mental health challenges has always been very obvious that home-based support makes all the difference in the world for someone being able to maintain stability and do better living in the community. Congratulations on breaking out into something new. Now we continue our special Holy Door of Mercy series with the second and final part. The time has come for us to pass through this holy door. We know that we are human, we're not perfect. Many of us will fall into sin again, perhaps the same ones. But here we are and that's half the battle. Pope Francis reminds us that God never tires of forgiving us and so we should never get tired of asking for forgiveness. As we pass through these doors, we are sorry for what we have done, for what we have failed to do, and we rely on God's grace to continue to lift us up with the gift of his mercy. So let's do it. Now that we have passed through this holy door, remember we need to recite the prescribed prayers, celebrate the sacrament of penance reconciliation, and celebrate the Eucharist, reflecting on God's mercy. If you'd like to join me in praying the prayers for our Holy Father's intentions, as well as the prayer for the Jubilee Year of Mercy, be sure to click here. Now that we've passed through the Holy Door of Mercy, the best thing that we can do is to live an authentic Christian life by going to Mass each and every Sunday and on Holy Days of Obligations, by celebrating the liturgy and sacraments of the Church, by reviewing what we believe, by living an authentic moral life, according to the teachings of Christ in the church and by having a relationship with God in prayer. And if we fall down or we fail in doing these things, we can ask the Lord to help us to get back up and to start over again. Isn't that what this Jubilee of Mercy is all about? Thanks for joining me for this very special presentation. I hope that you will come to the cathedral, pass through the Holy Door of Mercy and experience this wonderful journey of conversion to which we are all called. Don't forget to make plans with your family, your friends, and even your parish to visit the Cathedral of the Immaculate Conception and pass through the Holy Door of Mercy. Up next, Iasison Social Media Specialist Nicole Asavort brings us this week's Media Minute. The 65th Annual National Day of Prayer is Thursday, May 5th, and in today's Media Minute, we're giving you all the details. The theme for the 2016 National Day of Prayer is Wake Up, America, emphasizing the need for individuals, corporately and individually, to return to the God of Fathers in reverence for His holy name. We encourage you to stop whatever you're doing at 1 p.m. on the 5th 
and join the people of the Diocese of Syracuse in prayer for our nation, our president, all world leaders, and the men and women of the military. The official prayer is available on our website. Go to seerdio.org and click on the National Day of Prayer image. Thank you, Nicole. And finally, Catherine Long, the editor of The Catholic Sun, gives us a special preview of what we can find in this week's edition. Thanks, Father. This week, The Catholic Sun remembers Father Daniel Berrigan, takes you to a groundbreaking in Cortland, and celebrates 175 years with St. Joseph, St. Patrick Church in Utica. And as always, be sure to visit thecatholicsun.com every day for the latest local, national, and international Catholic news. Thank you, Catherine. On a sad note, we as a diocese say goodbye for now to our beloved cathedral organist, Tim Davenport, who passed away after a long battle with cancer. Let's keep him in our prayers. Until next time, I'm Father Sight, and remember, God is doing great things in each of us and all around our diocese. God bless you.